Hey guys, it's Todd. Thanksgiving is just a few days away, and if you know anything about me, you know that I will take any excuse to eat more mashed potatoes than the average human needs to eat in a given day. So today, I am showing you how to make my number one favorite mashed potatoes recipe. It is a roasted garlic mashed potato recipe with tons of herbs, so much flavor, it is going to be the highlight of your Thanksgiving meal, and that is not a joke. All right, first up, we have to peel our potatoes. So let's just get started. It is the most important part of this because we do not want potato peels in our mashed potatoes. The type of potato that I'm using is a Yukon Gold potato. That is my favorite type of potato to use in mashed potatoes. I think just the starch component is really perfect for mashed potatoes and gives you that perfect consistency that results in a delicious mashed potato. But again, you can kind of use any potato. I mean, it might not be as good, but if all you have on hand are some russets or other things, you can use them. I mean, if you're the one eating them, you don't have to be a stickler. If the texture's slightly little different, it's okay. It's cooking. It is not an exact science. You do you and have fun in the kitchen. All right, I'm gonna keep on peeling my potatoes. All right, I have finished peeling my potatoes and now we are just going to brush all of the potato skins into our bowl to throw them out. All right, I'm going to place our potato skins over there and now it is time to cut up our potatoes into one inch cubes. So I'm just going to cut them into about one inch cubes. It does not have to be perfect. That is the beauty of making mashed potatoes. We're gonna mash it. It does not need to be perfectly sized cubes. All right, now let's transfer our potatoes into our large pot of boiling water. All right, I wanna be very careful. Now. Oh, already one of the potatoes fell out. All right, <laughs> trying to get as many of the potatoes into the water as possible, although I feel like spilling a few. Oh God, another one just fell. It's definitely inevitable, but you know what? I can do my best to get them all into the water. All right, all of our potatoes are now in the water. We are now gonna let that boil for about five to 10 minutes until they are nice and soft and fully cooked. And now meanwhile, we're going to make the heavy cream and butter mixture with all those great herbs. And we're gonna talk about the first layer of flavor. All right, so now over here, I'm going to start preheating my pan on a nice medium high heat. And now to that, I'm going to add in a cup and a half of heavy cream. Of course, the full recipe is on atomadout.com. The potatoes are three pounds, but you can find all the measurements on there. Now, I'm also gonna add in a stick of butter for some fat. Now it's time to talk about flavor. I'm a big believer that mashed potatoes should have a really nice mellow flavor. Of course, you want the rest of the meal to be super flavorful and the mashed potatoes is kind of a creamy aspect, but you wanna have flavor in there as well. So I like to actually add in some infused flavor. So what I do is over here, I have some rosemary. I'm gonna add the rosemary into this mixture over here. I'm also going to add in some fresh sage right over there. Here we go, we're adding in all the beautiful aromatics. And then finally, one of my favorite herbs, we have some thyme right over here, add that into here. And now this is gonna go on a nice medium low flame. And all we wanna do is bring it up to a gentle simmer, melt that butter, and really let those flavors sop out of those herbs and just give it so much incredible flavor. Now, the next thing is I've already done this because um, I plan ahead, but what I also did earlier is I roasted two heads of garlic. This is the most important part. I love garlic. Roasting this garlic adds an incredible amount of flavor. All you gotta do is you're gonna cut off the top of the garlic. You're gonna add in some olive oil, any piece of tin foil, as you can see, a little bit of salt and pepper, and then it gets nice and perfectly soft. Look at that. It is like golden brown gold. It is packed with flavor. It is sweet, it is roasted, it is savory, it is incredible. All right, let's squeeze out the other and now roasting this at 400 for about an hour and 15 minutes. Just look at that beautiful garlic. It is literally one of my favorite ways to use garlic. All right, we now have our beautiful roasted garlic. My hands are super oily, so I'm gonna go wash them. We're gonna let our potatoes cook until they are fork soft and it's almost mashed potato eating time. I'm excited. All right, it is now time to check on our potatoes. You just wanna be able to, oh, there you go, perfect. You just wanna be able to poke a fork in nice and easy. I'm now going to bring this over to the sink, drain out the water, and then it is time for mashing the mashed potatoes. All right, our potatoes are steaming hot and beautiful. It is now time for mashing the potatoes. All right, now this bowl might be too small, but I have high hopes. Oh my God, you can't even see me right now. There's so much steam. All right, this bowl might be small, but I have high hopes. And I actually, I got so excited about mashed potatoes, I forgot the important step. Now, you can just mash them normally, but 
if you can get your hands on a ricer. A ricer is the little tool that has these little kind of holes over there that is perfect for mashing up mashed potatoes. It gets them a nice smooth consistency because you make sure it is completely mashed. And as you see why it's called the ricer is because, hold up, bam, it makes it into little rice sized pieces. So let's just repeat that with all of our potatoes. And again, you still can't see me because there's so much steam. <laughs> And smash. It's kind of fun. All right, our potatoes are all mashed, and now it is time to get our cream and butter and herbs mixture. I'm now just going to strain these out, but we're actually not done with these. So where am I gonna put them? I'm just gonna put them right over here. My counter is clean. <laughs> all right, we're gonna put them over here. There we go. And now, this is what you wanna do. You wanna take, I'm just gonna use a spoon. Take your spoon, and okay, this bowl might be way too small. Add in about half of the mixture and now just start mixing this together and then keep on slowly adding in more of your cream and butter mixture. And you'll be surprised at how much cream and butter these potatoes can soak up, but quite a lot. And now while I'm mixing this in, I'm also going to add in my roasted garlic into there. And I actually like to not really mash it up before I go in here because I want to get all mashed up in the actual potato mixture. So just keep on stirring that up and mash them in as well. All right, this is looking great. Now a little secret I like to do is I actually like to then take our herbs that we're cooking in there and just peel off some of the leaves and just sprinkle them into there. I think it's another great way to add some color and add even more flavor. Now, of course, you don't wanna get like the stems, just be careful about that, but those leaves from all of the herbs will add in such incredible flavor. And now, of course, I wasn't gonna forget it. You wanna do a whole lot of salt bay actions there. And you want quite a lot of salt because these potatoes really soak up the salt. And of course, some freshly cracked pepper. You guys know I love freshly cracked pepper. And now I think the biggest lesson of the day is use a larger bowl because this bowl is just big enough for what I need to do. I mean, I'm having fun and it's good. It's kind of almost like a game. Can I keep all these potatoes in the bowl? But I would recommend using a larger bowl. All right, let's give our potatoes a try. See if we need to season it anymore. Mmm, a touch of salt and then it's good. You know what, and a little more pepper. All right, now let's grab our serving dish. I have this beautiful bowl over here. Now you may notice this will serve about four people. Of course, this year when I'm filming this video, uh, Thanksgiving is gonna be smaller than usual. There'll probably be less people at your table. So I made this portion for about four people, but uh, if you have more people in your family or for future years when we can have lots of people at our Thanksgiving, you can double this recipe, triple this recipe. You do you. And a little more on top. Now, I like to top my mashed potatoes with some browned butter and fried herbs on top. So I'm gonna add a little bit of butter into there and I'm going to add in a little bit more of each of our herbs. So a little bit of sage. Let's add in some thyme into there. And oh, I ran out of rosemary here, but I think I have rosemary on my set. Oh, yes I do. So let me just grab a little bit of rosemary from there and plop that in there. And we're just going to now fry this until the butter gets nice and browned and smells aromatic and nutty. And then we'll just spoon it over the top. Meanwhile, let's try to get a perfect swoosh on top of our mashed potatoes. So let's see. Yeah. All right, the kitchen is smelling incredible. I'm now going to spoon our browned butter all over the top. Now, if you don't like brown butter, you obviously can leave it out, but I just think it gives it this beautiful kind of nutty, toasty flavor that just finishes it off beautifully. All right, my mashed potatoes are now done. They are looking absolutely beautiful. It is now time to give it a try. I'm gonna take a nice scoop. We have that brown butter on there. We have the fried herbs. Cheers to delicious mashed potatoes and a delicious Thanksgiving. Mm. Oh my God.
Wow, that is seriously delicious. If you are tired of the days of boring, bland mashed potatoes, don't worry, those days are over. Just add in that roasted garlic for that rich, earthy, roasted flavor. Add in those herbs for that kind of nice, mellow undertone. It seriously takes your mashed potato game to a whole other level. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and also comment down below what is your favorite thing to eat at Thanksgiving. And the recipe is on atonbernath.com and click the big red subscribe button to join the YouTube fam so you'll be the first to know when I post new videos. All right, hope you all have a happy, safe, incredible Thanksgiving. If you need me, you could find me hogging all of the mashed potatoes at Thanksgiving because I'm thankful for all my mashed potatoes <laughs> and all of you.